Hello. What's up, everybody? What's up? Oh my god, I'm so tired. I've been out shooting for like eight hours today. I know. Came back with muddy shoes and everything. Um, so, words catching on. Of course, all my lens recommendations are absolute winners because, you know, how about saving time and money? Like having some fat tattooed dude test out hundreds of lenses over many, many, many years and then like that person saves you time and money by giving you intelligent, well-rounded, wise conclusions about what are best lenses to buy. Because there is nothing that you can blow more money and money blow more money on and waste more time and money on than testing out lenses like this lens sucks, turn it in. This one sucks, so this one's decent. Spectrum of experience. You've actually sampled the full spectrum, kind of like the fat dude that's been at the buffet and he's like, yeah, all oh, that stuff sucks, that stuff's good. Yeah. <laughs> you can sit there and uh, waste a lot of time, a lot of money, buying a lot of stuff until you find out what's awesome. And you really won't know until you've tried everything. It's kind of like someone that lives in jail and, uh, you know, once a month they get lasagna and they go, that's the best stuff on earth. They've been locked in jail for 40 years. It's like, nah, you know. That's the best stuff they've got in jail, but it still sucks. And that's kind of where people are with lenses. And that is an undeniable, irrefutable fact. It's just a damn fact. So I'm like, this is the best lens I've ever got. It's awesome. How many lenses have you used? Ah, about eight lenses. So how the hell do you know? You might be like the person in jail that's, uh, you, know, uh, you know, bragging about the lasagna they get once a month. You know? Limited spectrum. Anyway, I have heard back from so many people that bought this lens. Um, and of course, I was telling everybody how awesome it is. This is actually the best value lens that money can buy if you're an icon. It is a manual focus lens. Um, I've heard back from two people that said that, that they've been shooting for 40 years and this lens made them cry. Here's two different versions. This one has rubber on it. This is the first version. This one has a, a CNC machined a metal. It's made by Voigtlander, 100% exact same quality, Casino Voigtlander. 100% exact same quality as the Zeiss. Uh, this lens is $450 new, this one's like $489 new. Get it from CameraQuest, CameraQuest.com. You can typically find them used for like $370 upwards right around there. The equivalent Nikon lens for this is $1,600. It's not made half as good, not built half as good, not made half as good, not, uh, it's not even half as good of a lens and it costs a ton more money. Um, this does have CPU contacts, which means you can use it on any Nikon. CPU contacts right there, f1.4 Nocton lens. Um, absolutely exquisite. Um, whoops, dropped lens cap, rear cap. Um, I've heard back from so many people that bought this lens, and now apparently people are like price gouging on eBay on this lens. Well, uh, Mr. Gandhi over, I have no connection to him, I don't get any kickbacks or anything like that. He's, uh, he's the actual importer for these lenses out in the West Coast at Camera Quest, and he's got another huge order on these for either one of these. I don't know which one he has in stock right now. I think he's out of stock on the metal knurling. Both of these are fine. Both of these are the same optically. You see rubber focusing ring here versus metal focusing ring right here. Um, this is the best value that money can buy. It has a manual focus. will work on any Nikon, camera, D3000, 5000, anything because it's got CPU contacts like an AIP Nikkor lens. It means it is a CPU'd uh, lens, but it is manual focus. Um, this lens is the absolute super tits. I mean, it's just incredible. I mean, like I said, there have been a couple of people. People have been emailing me pictures from this lens, and of course, I've been saying how incredible it is. I'm like, yeah, yeah, whatever. And then uh, lately, you know, there have been a number of people, but lately there's been like a flood because I've heard from other people that got this lens off my recommendation. It's like, well, you know, maybe the fat freak is right. And then they bought this lens, and uh, Wow, they've kind of like vanished everywhere. And uh, I still see some used ones out there, but in oddball locations, because I recently took a peek, uh, availability is really low. Here's the other news, too. Uh, you need to go to camerequest.com. If you want a Voigtlander for your Nikon in 20mm or 28, 28 is my favorite pancake from Voigtlander. 
I, I've been warning you people. My prediction was 100% right. What lender has stopped production? Stop production <coughs> on the 20 millimeter and 28 millimeter pancake for everything. Not just Nikon, everybody. It ain't no mo, baby. Uh, so if you want to grab a 20 or 28 millimeter pancake, ain't no more of them. He still got some in stock if you want to grab some, but it's over with. They're uh, gearing up to make some Sony lenses, some ultra wide primes. One of them's even a 10 millimeter. Nobody's got their hands on it yet. Um, but if you want one of those, uh, now is the time to uh, grab one. Um, but anyway, check out this lens. This is like finally running into some rich dude, and he's like, Hey, you want my Lamborghini for $1,000? Give me $1,000 and you got my Lamborghini. That's exactly what this lens is like. For $1,600 on the Nikon 58mm uh, Noct, you know, it's a piece of plastic. The output is nowhere near as good as this thing is for 400 bucks, basically. So for a whole hell of a lot, lot less money, you get a far, 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 far superior lens in production uh, standards, uh, fit and finish, and uh, actual, importantly, obviously, so the output of the lens. So, so this is a two-part video series mentioning that uh, the 20mm and 28mm are no mo. So you better grab them while you can, if you want one. And uh, if you can find one of these, you should grab it. I'm glad I got three of them, which I don't need three of them. I mean, one would last anybody a lifetime. But that's the 58mm Voigtlander Nocturne. F1.4 CPU lens, uh, F1.4 uh, aperture. Uh, absolutely incredible. All the amazing pictures you people have actually sent me from this lens. and You know, I, I mean, I knew how incredible it was, but you're just so excited and you're sending me pictures. And a couple of people are like, I've been shooting for 40 years, you know, I know everything about photography, and I bought this lens on your recommendation. It's like I've rediscovered photography. You know, this lens just craps out silk, sex, and sugar. I can't frigging believe that a lens that this, this, this damn cheap in price uh, has, uh, you know, such incredible, phenomenal output. And it is just that. It's, it can't be defined any other way other than incredible. So anyway, thanks for watching. And if you can, snag yourself a 58mm uh, Voigtlander, Nocton. I would call this the lens of the decade. Of the decade! In the world! <laughs> CameraQuest.com, I have no affiliation with them. Um, I get no kickbacks, no sponsorship, no free crap, so, you know, check out their website and uh, order one from them, or wherever you can snag one from. Right now, they're kind of out of stock everywhere unless you find a used one, and apparently those have dried up due to my recommendations, so, good luck, thanks a bunch.